The deep men on the right side number four and keep an eye on David Wilson from Danville Virginia. The coaching staff is extremely high on this one time high school champion in the triple jump. Ball is on the tee for Kyle Watsman. Wilson driven back in the end zone and he's going to come out on a delayed reaction and he is lit up despite the fact that a teammate was trying to keep him in the end zone. Fumble on the snap. Battle for the loose ball. Boise says they've got it and the umpire agrees with him. Brad O'Hara the Big Ten official was in on top of it and the ball is recovered by Billy Wynn. Wait, Brent, we've seen a lot of this this opening weekend in college football all over the place. The center and quarterback exchanged. Long enough, 44 yards, and Boise State takes advantage of the exchange problem. You have to throw motion at him and never go on first down. That's great penetration by this defense. And that's Billy Wynn who recovered that fumble. He is off. He's causing that. Taylor, second and 15, in trouble again. And he is lit up that time by McClellan. Shea McClellan out of Caldwell, Idaho, right there in the Boise area. Even then Virginia Tech, if he graded him out. This is from behind Brian Saunders. So Boise State blocks the first punt. Advantage special teams, Boise State. Austin Pettis, their outstanding wide receiver, recovered the ball, and it is a huge first and ten for the Broncos. Play action. Touchdown. Austin Pettis, the senior from Anaheim. California and Boise has shocked this Virginia Tech crowd. Pettis will put it down for Kyle Blotzman. And he tacks on the extra point. Third down and long. Boise spreads the field. What a job by the offensive line. And there is that man again, Austin Pettis. Now let's go back on that story. He was a first. And Martin breaks loose. Close to a first down. What a run on third and 24. He may be inches from that first down. It's against TCU in the bowl game for a big first down. And there's a penalty. This could be another mistake on the Texas Tech, I should say the Virginia Tech special teams. And here they come down the field to the 40-yard line. And there's another flag on the play. Flags are flying right now. Brent, it's the same young man, DJ Coles. First he roughed the punter, and then after the play was continuing, he lined up and hit a Boise State player. Both penalties are going to be end up being on number 18. Well, remember it was fourth and once. That's a first down for Boise State regardless here. And we'll see how this crew sorts it out and how many yards they're going to tack on this. This is somewhat stunning to those of us who have been around Frank Beamer as much as we have through the years to see the special teams as lopsided as they are here tonight. There are two fouls on the play. Running into the kicker on the defense. The five-yard penalty. Yardage results in a first down. After the play, there was a dead ball, personal foul against the research receiving team. 15 yards from the end of that first enforcement, first down. The blunders continue on special teams. DJ Coles, I said to you, he ran into the punter, which is going to be the first down, but he wasn't done. And this, boy, it's a close call there, but he made up for it with what he did after the whistle, going downfield and just laying into the punter. He's not done yet. That's not what they called. He continued downfield, and he got another shot in right here, late after the whistle. 
throws for the first down, and he came back to D.J. Harper. Ellen Moore up at the top of the screen here. So they go to the Wildcat and pick up another first and ten with Avery. Correct snelling here early. D.J. Harper. He's the running back. Fires for the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown. Gallarda sticks with it. The senior from Brea, California, and what a catch. Now, was he inbounds? Let's take a look. Well, Gallardo puts his big right paw up in the air. Look at the throw, by the way, by Kellen Moore. Only where his guy can make the catch. Secures the football, comes down. We'll have to see from the other angle if he's bobbling it at all, but he goes up to make this catch. Senior changing it up. Stands tall and delivers his first completion. And the first time they've crossed. Job up front that time by the Hokies. On a cutback run for another first down. And moving the ball is Williams. Rush four. Drop to coverage. Lobs wide open. Bangs to the end zone and down at the one yard line is Jared Boykin, the junior of Boise State. You're going to try it again, Herbie. Oh! Bangs in that time. And they go empty. Offensive line holds and wide open is Titus. The deep threat, this has been a nightmare for him. Bangs that one, yes! From the left hash. Got a wide open receiver. And complete to Marcus Davis. To pull tech to within 10. Off to the right, no good. From the left hash. Misses outside. The run is back in there. Right now on this third and short. He'll get the call. Cuts over to the left and he's short. Fumble. Still loose. And Virginia Tech has got it. To get the momentum back in their favor. Whitley with the hit. The ball comes loose. And then it's Gibson. The big linebacker finally pounds. 318 in the first half. Play action. Taylor can take off. We'll pick up the first down. He stayed with it. A Taylor. Wide open was his running back for the touchdown. I mean, Ryan Williams had no one on him. Going to throw on third and four. Kellen's in trouble. Fumble, offensive lineman. I think it was an incomplete pass. I thought now we'll have to wait and see because the battle for the football, they signal that Virginia Tech has it. It's possible that he was cocking his arm. He was having trouble getting away from his own lineman. So let's let everybody sort it out. Herbie, you take the first look here. Well, more I think again, he's looking to try to dump this ball off onto the flat. He finally sees it, but there's just so much pressure. The ball. Second and six. Quick to the outside for a first down, and that's Roberts. From the one, Williams for his third touchdown of the night. He's run in two and caught a pass for a third. It's been a while. That is the last WAC team, by the way, to beat Boise State, and there it is. The Broncos have fallen behind. Four receivers and Harper. Snaps it off. And they pick up the slot man, Shoemaker, that time. Harper. He does. Breaks free. In a foot race. Midfield. Try to break free. D.J. Harper off the injury list. Back at full speed, goes 71 yards on a third and one.
for the Boise State touchdown. How about this? Bruce Taylor, 51, actually gets in there right there, but he's able to slip off that, and then he slips off another would-be tackler, and then once Harper gets to the second level, he's able to take it all the way to the end zone, but Virginia Tech on... And here, Taylor next to Williams, and on first and 10, Taylor forced to scramble, and does he make the most of it? Into Boise State territory. Taylor will throw for it, got it, and a touchdown. Jared Boykin. So running into the kicker. Got it in underneath, can he get the first down? He does. And out of bounds, and he's having a big night. There's the play action, Moore's got time. Can he find a man? Yes, he can. And this time it is Austin Pettis. The Boise State starts the fourth quarter with a third and one. They'll run for it, and they have got it. Banging up in there is Doug Martin by one. This would put them up by two. To tie the school record, 30 yards. Close to that left hash. Pulls it and missed it. The left hash bites Bronsman again. Darren Evans gets a call, but Taylor throws for the first down, and they cross midfield. They're close. Now the backers come. Tyrod Taylor snaps it off, though, complete. And he's starting to find Boykin. Is in. Long side Taylor on second down and nine. Taylor wants to take off, wants daylight. And did he keep the knee up and pick up a first down? That would be a remarkable piece of footwork by Tyrod Taylor, the Hokie. 20 after a missed field goal by Boise State. Third down and eight. Taylor fires, dropped, incomplete. And now he is one of two from that distance. Evans stays in. And Tyrod will just keep it himself now. Third down and eight. And Taylor's going to throw for it down the sideline. Incomplete. Well, with two minutes to go, <laughs> they've got a life. But if he falls sideways, there's no foul. Well, here comes Kellen Moore now near midfield. He's got 147. Snaps it off. First down, and that stops the clock for a few seconds. Kellen Moore. Kellen throws wide open to Pettis. Pettis finally out of bounds. Late and a hit. penalty flag. There's a penalty flag. As Pettis was hit, what appeared to be a late hit by Taylor, a linebacker over there. Let's let them sort this out. And there's no question. Bruce Taylor came After in late. After the play was over. Late hit out of bounds. Number 51, defense. Play action. In zone. Got him. Pettis. Touchdown. Cinderella lives, ladies and gentlemen. This is stunning. 13 yards to Austin Pettis. A minute nine left for the Hokies. He'll go for one to put it on three. A field goal can get the Hokies into overtime. If he makes this extra point. Remember, they have botched one extra point here tonight. But not this one. A 54 seconds. Taylor in trouble. They might have to burn one here. 
Rush three. Prevent. Throw it to the middle. Incomplete. Hit as he delivers. And incomplete. The field judge not reaching for the yellow. Kellen Moore and the Boise State Broncos are 31 seconds away. And on that final drive, Kellen Moore was 4 of 5 for 33 yards and the touchdown. That was close on Taylor, as in very close, but the official was right there. Well, the key is... And they are taking dead aim, not at a BCS game, but the BCS championship game. And let the debate begin. A magnificent performance here by the Broncos. Chris Peterson will be looking for Frank Beamer. Two coaches who respect each other tremendously. Beamer has said all along, all along, every time he looked at a Boise State game, he said this is a well-coached football team. And Coach Peterson said the same thing about Beamer and Virginia Tech. Just stunning. Let's go down Heather Cox and a very happy Chris Peterson. Make him smile, Heather. I'll do my best, Coach. Once again, magic late in the game. Now, before the game, you said all the right things. But now that all is said and done and you have won, how do you measure the importance of this game? Game one, and that's what it is. And, uh, you know, we're just proud how hard the kids play. Virginia Tech's got a great squad. We knew that coming in. They verified it today. And, uh, you know, we're just we're pleased to be able to get out of here with a W against these guys. Now, with such a little room for error and such high expectations, what did you learn about your team tonight? Well, we still got a lot of things we got to clean up. You know, we, we got a ways to go, but... You know, I know that Virginia Tech would say the same thing. Those first games are hard. Things happen that you just don't expect. We just got to go back to.